Here's a nice quick and easy Bitcoin technical analysis for you all. Right now on Bitcoin, I am looking for higher prices to come. We've done exactly what I've been calling for the past few days and take out $58,000. After taking out $58,000 the first time, we come back and really simply back tested the VWAP for now continuation to the upside. As we were getting this move to the downside, I made it very clear to the champion members that for me, I want to see higher hit during New York to at least the naked point of control. And no, I have not shorted Bitcoin. Bitcoin, and that was upon taking out $58,000, which patience had to be well in place there, right? We were waiting nearly three days for $58,000 to be taken out, but the patience paid. We took it out, ended with a little bit of a swing failure pattern. But as I reply, as I repeat now, I did not short Bitcoin upon that happening. Why? Because I want to see higher a gain. Brings us up to where we are here after back testing the VWAP, giving another long trade entry. Uh, yeah, for me, really simply now, it does look like we're going to be testing finally this naked point of control. Uh, that is the naked point of control, of course, going to be coming in on and around this lovely anchored VWAP. So, yeah, we got the target sat now at around $58, $5,900. Okay, I would look at this naked point of control and say, uh, from the actual naked point control touch through, I do not accept a front run. So, you know, I'm saying I'm not shorting Bitcoin yet. I'm looking higher, of course. If we fall down from here, I was absolutely wrong on this call and myself and many champions will be upset. So what am I looking for next? I am looking for continuation to the upside to test at least that naked point of control, right? And from here, we make that informed decision. Do we come up to that naked point of control, come up to that level and then reject? And of course, upon that bearish reaction, we get our short trade or do we actually get the reclaim of the level? we get above that level and hold it to support in that case there's no short trade to be had and we can look upwards towards sixty thousand to sixty one thousand dollars next okay those would be our next major levels above us but yeah this is a lower term time frame update a nice quick update okay i'm gonna of course publish this as soon as i finish the video for those asking about bonk, because I had a lot of questions about bonk, 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 bonk. Of course, yesterday I was showing you the long trade setup that we had off of the first entry of the point of control. And then the second entry, which was the compounded entry, adding to the long trade off the value area low. I know so many people are interested in this because as well, I've been having comments about over on Twitter today. And really simply, we hit that point of control. Then we bounced off the value area low. We never lost the value area low, right? Quick, quick down below. And that is from that value area low to the current high an 11 percent bounce to the upside so whether you got your entry only off the point of control or whether you've done the tactic of compounding that is a hundred percent guaranteed profits right now what you could be doing with this trade should you be in it okay uh or what i would kind of look towards is you've got a nice average entry down towards the low of the move we're currently making our way up towards the weekly and we got the vwap OK, at this point, I would be looking, of course, for that take profit one off the weekly. And I also think it's a not a bad idea on these lower term time frames to be trading the stop loss up in profits. Right. So you could have your stop loss trailed up to just below the VWAP, which is continuation of the lower term time frame, higher lows. And that way, OK, if we do fall down from here. Well, you get stop loss hit, but your stop loss is in profits, right, because your stop loss can be around here and your average entry is at the very least point of control if you got in the compound off the value area low you probably got your average entry right around 1.91 okay you're in at least seven percent profit so even if you go from your average entry to stopped out you're bagging yourself really around at least right at least three percent three and a half percent profit so one day not not bad in my opinion there so yeah that's what i'd be looking at on bonk uh so yeah that was uh, another winning trade to be added there for anybody that did take that and on bitcoin yeah once again, I am looking for higher. I have not shorted Bitcoin yet. If we fall down and we do not hit the naked point of control here, I was absolutely wrong. But if I am right, we will make our way up once again. I was right in not shorting Bitcoin. And again, once we tap that level, I'll make the informed decision of the reclaim or continuation higher. So I will say this, if you want my updates first and foremost, okay, I will always give these type of updates first to the champion members. And you can get that update via chartchampions.com. This is where we got the membership. Okay, this is where we have live trading streams. So you can see the trades taken live on stream. You can get our updates as things are happening in from the discord and of course we have that educational library so all the strategies everything that we use to trade every day is taught inside of our program so if that's of interest to you chartchampions.com hope this was uh, helpful and if you want more quick videos like this smash that like button so we'll see if i'm right or wrong but for now yes i am looking for higher cheers everybody thank you and uh
I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Goodbye.